All right, what's up everybody? Jack Carr checking in, and I did an EDC picture every day, carry, the other day, and someone asked me, or a few people asked, why do you carry all that stuff? And it's really not that much stuff. Uh, a lot of people are more prepared and, and carry more, so I figured I'd just run through it, because I told that guy on Instagram that I would. So uh, if you followed me for a while, you know that I like that SIG P365, which is awesome, been carrying that for a while, but they just came out with this thing called the AXG Scorpion. Uh, P320 and I shot it back at SIG a few months back. Absolutely loved it. It felt it's striker fire pistol uh, in the P320 line, but it felt like I was shooting my old 226. Just awesome. So, uh, so I have one of those now, and uh, I've been carrying that for a while, and it's it's awesome. So uh, I'll just run through how I carry everything. So uh, yeah, ball and buck shirt, awesome. Oop. Gator sunglasses, of course. Been wearing these things since these exact pair since 1998, so thank you Gators. You can tell it doesn't have the, uh, the new symbol on there, old school. So, got those guys. Uh, watch right here, Aries. So, awesome, Matt Graham out there at Aries. Love this thing, doing a, actually by the time this goes up, I will have done a giveaway with one of these watches, this exact model and band and all the rest of it. So, I've uh, been wearing this for over a year now and absolutely love it, awesome. So, that is the watch. And then Pistola wise, right here, this is the Scorpion. So, bam, and good to go. I'm carrying it with a light on it, and I haven't typically done that before. Um, and I told myself that if I carried a pistol with a light on it, then I was going to also carry another handheld. So I'm not tempted to light something up with a pistol that doesn't need to be covered by the muzzle of my weapon. So uh, this AXG Scorpion got the uh, got the XC1 on there from Surefire, bam, and just, just love this thing. Awesome. So that is that open. Boom. Pretty cool. And then this one right here, so this is a Streamlight. So these things are pretty affordable. It's a stylus, I think. So if it falls out of your pocket, uh, you lose it, you know, you're not going to have a heart attack. It's not the, not the end of the world. So so I love, uh, love these things. I have a few of them. They're scattered about. Um, sometimes carry the extra mag, not all the time. Uh, boom. But what I love about these pants right here, these are the Dynamis uh, Adaptive X jeans, is that I don't have to keep any of that stuff in my regular pockets. I'm not scraping my hand on blades or flashlights or whatever else. They have separate pockets for the extra mag and, and all the rest of that stuff. So none of those things I just took out were from my main pockets. There's nothing in my main pockets except my wallet. I'm ball and buck. Thanks, guys. Awesome. So, uh, so main pockets, I can still put my hands in the pockets. Um, and that's nice to be able to do. And not scrape myself on this sweet blade from Half Face Blades, Andrew Arabigo. Thanks, brother. This thing is awesome. So this one is reserved. Uh, my folder is typically reserved for opening boxes, cutting rope, doing that sort of thing, so that I keep my fighting blade just for the fighting. So that's this one right here. So you can see that. That is the Northman by Amtac. And that's in a separate pocket on these uh, on these jeans too. So um, this thing, someone asked me why you carry a separate one just for fighting, uh, and it's because so it doesn't get dull. Because uh, I have a lot of things to do, a lot of things to open, a lot of boxes, tons of books coming in all the time. So I'm not using this thing to do that and then maybe get sidetracked by kids, dog, family, all the rest of it, uh, and not sharpening it. So this one stays sharp and it's just for fighting. So that is that. And uh, what else do I have here? Oh, holster for the SIG is from the guys at Black Point Tactical. So I've been wearing these for, gosh, maybe four years now, five years now. Anyway, love these things. The mini wing right here. I uh, have setups to go with a light, without a light, but, uh, but I'm getting used to carrying that thing with a light. So uh, might as well. So bam. what else was in that? Uh, belt was in that picture too, that EDC thing. So. Uh, this is from Dynamis right there. You can see that. And initially when I, when Dom first gave me this thing, like years and years ago, I thought, oh man, it's going to be a little too flimsy. It's not at all. It carries all this, no problem. And it also, and it's super comfortable. And also it has some hidden secrets in here that I won't give away. I'll have to go and watch Dom's video on that Dynamis website or Dynamis, maybe YouTube. Uh, but it's out there and there's some cool things about this belt that uh, turned it into a weapon. So, uh, other than that is that and what else was in that picture i think that was everything 
that I had in my, my EDC picture. I had this in there too, Bill of Rights, just because if you don't have one and you're, you know your kids don't have one of these, get them the Constitution, get them the Bill of Rights, get them the Declaration of Independence. I like to do the leather bound versions just to show that it's a, that is important. Um, bam, there's that. And then I think in that EDC post, I talked about carrying my backpack. So uh, this is the Sitka Drifter. I've been carrying this thing for a few years. Uh, just my normal everyday pack. And then I always have a tourniquet or two. They're in the cars, they're all over the place. So I always have a tourniquet easy to get to. Uh, I always have my headlamp. So yeah, I love this pencil. Man, they're too complicated now, I think. Uh, so this is an old school one that uh, you just press a button, turn it on, and cycle through different uh, different settings. So I love this thing. I have a lot of them. Um, <laughs> that's in that pocket. Uh, let's go out here. Notebook now, because I am an author. Little pen from Ball and Buck. Nice. Um, and this is from uh, Eagles and Angels. So that's actually a uniform that I wore downrange. And they did a run of these uh, these notebooks. So pretty cool. Uh, awesome. And uh, a bunch of the proceeds went to, to charity. So that's that. And then I always carry a uh, larger med kit also. Um, this one's from Dark Angel Medical. And uh, cat, another cat tourniquet in there, and then I have the yeah, EpiPen. Always good to have one of those just in case you run across someone who doesn't have theirs. Um, the scissors and all that stuff. So I always have a little bit uh, of bag of med uh, kit in my bag here. And then as an author now, I usually have yep, have a uh, paperback or two on me. So boom, Savage Sun. If you see me in the uh, in uh, Lucky Ones Coffee here in Park City, writing away or somewhere, I usually have a copy of the paperback uh, at least on me, and I'm more than happy to, to sign it for you if I run into you somewhere. So that, I think, is everything in the picture. So that's, uh, that's how I carry it. Pretty easy. Doesn't uh, hinder me in any way. And uh, that is it. So anyway, thanks so much. Hope uh, that answers your question. Whoever was wondering how I carry this stuff. Take care. Have a great one. Uh, keep fighting.